Jealousy and envy are two words that are often used interchangeably. However, envy in the strictest and narrowest sense is the quality or vice that causes us to be unhappy or resentful or even bitter because of the apparent good fortune of other people. It's like a very sharp blade that has no handle. The more we hang on to it, the more we hurt ourselves. Jealousy, however, is a way of loving that's imperfect. It is based on insecurity and lack of trust in another human being. At the same time, it is also based on greed. We want the other person's total time and attention focused on us. So it's a selfish way of loving. It's understandable, given our faulty human nature. It tends to smother the love and the person that we want to protect and nurture. Now, obviously, we have to have common sense. No one can spend great gobs of free time with a person of the opposite gender and not suspect that romantic feelings will arise. However, we can also be jealous of a person's time if they prefer to be fishing rather than being with us, or if they would prefer that we didn't go to a book club or an opera that they're not interested in, that we want them to always be with us. That will stifle an individual and ultimately destroy a loving relationship. So we need a sense of balance in our life, a sense of trust, and a sense that a person will do the right thing. But only we could have that trust if the person is on good terms with God. If a person is not on good terms with God, how could they be on profound good terms with us? How do we know they won't succumb to temptation? So our faith helps us overcome jealousy if the faith we have is shared with the person we love. I hope and pray that you'll find love in your life that you'll nurture it, and that in loving someone else, you'll set that other person free, and their love for you will set you free, and the both of you together can find joy and happiness according to God's will and God's plan.